So you have to point when you open a uh, uh, OMS project. So when you set from here your project, okay, you have to go in the Kavone folder. It becomes blue. It means that you select it. If you just if you don't select it, it doesn't know the path. Okay. So as I showed you before, you just make it blue. It means that you are selected. So you are done, and then you do open. Okay. If you do like this, you probably don't get any error. Did you try? Why? Did you get? What do you want to do? Ah, you uh, open all of them. Yes, I told you before also to close all of them. So to do close all, go on on one of the five simulation five. You do right click. And then you do cross all, and then you just open this. Uh, yes, we do the percentage of the work. Yes. Is there was running while the other one were open? Ah, the error was that uh, the, the project folder was not correctly selected. Uh, but now probably all of you are okay. Yes or no? Okay, cool. So now we can see uh, what what are we doing. You know. Uh, so uh, have you? Have some of you has uh, already? Yes. Can be uh, the demo be rather also in a CSV file? Uh, so in another text file format? Uh, okay. Or this is a, a, a good question. Uh, are them usually is not written in the CSV format. The, the usual format that uh, you have a raster map could be like hash file, geotiff file, uh, or uh, I don't know, uh, ashi file, netcdf. So you can use all this standard format. And the standard format comes from geotools, for example, that are the basic libraries that uh, uh, everyone uses from GDAL, but I, I never, uh, I, I never uh, open the rest of the CSV. No, because the CSV, okay, you open it and you have a shape file. And you, you should convert the shape file in a raster, so this is the opposite side of the matter. Okay, this is the only one, so I have to do this passage before adding a raster. Okay. So I understand. Okay, I understand. Well, we, we can, we, uh, pro okay. Uh, the, the the CSV file is just a comma separated file. It's not a, a shape file. No, okay, okay. Yes. No. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. We will do a break. A short discussion on this. We uh, we can go further. So okay, we we are running a bit further. Uh, have you never carried out a uh, bit filler uh, uh, geomorphological analysis? Yes or no? Yes. Do you know why this comment is uh, important, or it is the first thing that you should for, do? <coughs> for uh, run the pit filler, uh, the basin must be already defined. No, or no, no. I can we are uh, starting. Uh, we are starting from okay. scratch. Then we also start with basin. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is just uh, okay. Uh, I'll show you in QGIS from what we start, okay? Uh, in the sense that uh, it's clear that the basin is not extracted. You just have a big area, a raster map, without any uh, limitation and without any uh, already cut <coughs> uh, river basin. We will do it uh, uh, today as well. Um, so, first thing is this. Data input from where we are starting is here. Which is just uh, uh, the DM of your area. You don't have any river basin. You can imagine that your river basin could be in the middle because we have to patch your uh, the we have to patch the hash map. 
and uh, uh, yes, you can have an idea that the analysis here uh, could be used. Uh, cool, so why uh, pitch feeder is important? Uh, okay. Uh, so here I'm using some, some um, slides that uh, are made by Silvia and Andrea, which are the, Silvia was the, the year that was here yesterday, and uh, they are uh, owner of the hydrology, uh, hydrology is, uh, startup that started with Ricardo, and they did a lot of uh, works on uh, porting uh, the Orton machine uh, from uh, old code to Java and so on. Uh, when we go, so why do we have to do pit filler? Because when when uh, we uh, analyze uh, our uh, DM, which are uh, in practice in our uh, in our mind is the surface, no elevation and x and y. We want uh, we want that this uh, function is continuous, and if we want the first and the second uh, and the second derivative continuous. Otherwise, we cannot compute the slope. We cannot compute the um, the uh, curvature that are second derivative and so on. So we have to fit. Uh, we have to fill uh, some pit, and these pits are usually uh, due to uh, artifacts. Uh, so uh, we want to make the drainage, the computation of the drainage director direction smooth and going from the uh, upper part of the basin continuously to the outlet of our basin. So in order to avoid that the uh, drainage direction that we are going to compute later stuck in some artificial uh, pit which is contained in our uh, DEM, then we run first pit filler. So we fill the artifacts that are uh, making not continuously, eventually, our drainage direction. So this is why we, we do that. So the output of pit filler is just a, a dam, a dm, is your dm, uh, so still elevation, uh, which are uh, corrected in the sense that uh, if there are some pit, they are filled. So this is what we do, and uh, here, uh, um, as you can see, you specify uh, in, the, in, the, in the object modeling system uh, console, you can specify, specify the input folder, for example, and the output folder. In this case, uh, the input folder, we saw that is in uh, data and the output folder is in uh, output carbonate geomorphology 2 and then you don't you should not modify uh, anything because uh, uh, what we do here i explain a little bit the the uh, the sim file now so we use uh, uh, three components only three components the first one is the raster reader uh, we in which uh, and we use this uh, raster reader because we want to read our raster map. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the raster map here in uh, in our input folder. You see them dm. Uh, so we want to read this. So uh, we use uh, raster reader. Then uh, we use a pit filler. Uh, which is uh, the command that make you pit, make you feel the pit, and then what we want to do is to write the output map, and for doing this we use the uh, raster writer. So, and those are the, the the components that we want to use. Then those components need some information, some parameters, and we specify the parameters. In your opinion, what are the information that those components uh, need? You can read here uh, from there. In fact, the, the reader components, which is the one that read the file, uh, the raster file, just needs the path to the file. So where is the file that I want to read? And you specify it uh, here. Here you can you you are telling to the reader component that the file that 
he ha it has to read is in the folder uh, uh, Pacificata then, and then in the home of the project. Okay. Is it clear or not? Yeah. Do you, do you have any question on this? Are you? Okay. Uh, so I have a question for you. Suppose that I don't want to read this, this uh, file, uh, uh, DM Basilicata. And suppose that I want to read another file which is on my desktop. So what? You can just change the file. The word stream. So this is useful for you when you want to read the other DM that okay. uh, you want to manage, you want to use for your exercise. Okay, and then the other parameters is uh, what? Is, uh, in your opinion, what is the other parameter? The other parameter that uh, we need? There, the, uh, the model can save that. Perfect. So we are telling the, him the string to uh, let's specify the path to where in your computer he has to write uh, the output, which is the speed field. In this case, so the output of this uh, uh, command uh, is a raster map, and uh, the name of this raster map it is fit uh, field. Uh, just we we gave this name here, and it will write this in the output form. This yeah. You are saying there the in folder and out folder that you set on top of the screen. Perfect. Yeah. What if the then original file is outside of that? But it, it has to be in data, in the folder data. It has to be in the folder data because in my, uh, in the same file, I specify the input folder. Uh, but you can, so I just, with in folder and output folder, uh, uh, I wanted to give the idea that uh, you can have a uh, um, path that can be uh, a string, so uh, it can be dynamic. So, for example, if I want to go in another folder, I just access to the other folder with this uh, dollar and uh, curly bar. Okay. So, in this way, you just change the path upstairs, and you don't have to uh, to change all the, the symbols. Because when the simple is one, it's okay. But when you have to modify uh, ten paths, you can get more uh, chance to have uh, It's still uh, everything clear? Do you have a question? Yeah, but the background program for filling yeah. the piece. Yes. So we can look at that also. Okay. Yes, we can do that. Because here we have yeah components, parameters, connectors. Yes. But and the how did these three items work in the background program? Yes. Let's finish the connection, okay? okay. Uh, and then uh, we will uh, see uh, the source code. Okay. But in that case, you have to use your uh, browser, and we will Google to the uh, to the source code, and you will get an idea. Uh, so let's finish the connection. Uh, why we need the connection? Because uh, the output of some component will be the input of some other component. For example, uh, we read, we have read the uh, input raster map, and the input raster map has uh, uh, an output. The component uh, OMS reader has an output, and this output contains the dem that has the DEM that has been read, has been read. Cool. So now we want to pass this DM to the bit filler component, which is the common that performs the filling. But it's not here. Uh, it's not enough. Because then what we do is that the output of the bit filler component will be passed to the raster writer, which is the uh, components that will write the hash map on your system, on your computer. So the first, the first line, we are telling them, after you read the DM, pass it to the bit filler. In the second line, 
we are telling, please pass the output of the bit filler to the uh, raster writer component, and then the, the raster writer just write the file on your computer. Is more or less okay? Yes? Do you have some questions? Uh, it's good if you have questions because most of the command that we are going to run uh, makes uh, they works like this. So uh, I would like to spend five minutes more to the first component and then go smoothly to the other one. Yes? Uh, could you say it again why uh, the first connect line? I mean, uh, what does it do? The first connect line. Yes. So it is this. Uh, component, we, uh, we name this component uh, reader them. And if we, when we define reader them, we know that is the raster reader. Okay. So this component just receives a string, which is uh, the path to your uh, file that you want to read, and, and uh, uh, provide uh, the raster map available for the next component. The next component is the pit filler, which is uh, a component that take the raster map and perform some calculation, which means filling the bit. And so here we are just passing the output of the component the raster reader to the input of the component pit filler. When pit filler is done, he has an output, and this output, which is here, it's passed to a writer, which is a component that writes your output map to file system. Yes? Any other question? Yes, this language is Ruby. This language is uh, a sort of Ruby. It's a do domain uh, DSL, domain specific. And it doesn't matter the number of spaces between one stream and the other. I mean, in, a, in a human, uh, uh, so as far as I tested it, there is no problem, but they never test like uh, 5,000. I tested the always normal path in the world. No, actually, you said, for instance, the first collection. Uh, yeah. You set a string, you use the dot out parameter, and that's some number of spaces. Ah, no, 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 it doesn't matter. So it, it, Whatever. Yeah, you can do like this as well. Okay. And it will run. Okay. So it's just the important is to separate by quotes, no? Because you specify one and the uh, other. Other question? What is the uh, connection between pit dot in elevation ller with pit dot out pit? How you connect them? This and this? Yeah, yeah. So they are not connected because they are in the same component, and the name of this component is pit. Oh. So pit will have an input, which is the things that he needs to execute, and then after he finish with his execution, pit will provide you an output. And this will be pitch dot out. Uh, pitch yeah. out pitch. Yeah, I see. Other question? No, no. I'm going on there. No, 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 I shall. Uh, the name of uh, input and output, for example, pitch. Uh, but, uh, in yes. Where we can I, find I read uh, on the manual. It's not uh, explained uh, uh, if it's the, the name, the right name, or it's a name that I can give to the. Okay. So what you did was to open the. Yeah. The PDF. OMS filler. Uh, 
Where did you yeah, in, in the detailed uh, input description, for example. Uh, okay. Ah, you just say the digital relation model. Yeah. And you are asking why you don't find uh, the no. name? It, uh, a function name? Uh, do you remember the water tank? Yeah. Okay. The water tank example. It's the name that the programmer decided to give ah, okay. to the to the to the So you, you if you if you wanted if, for example another programmer which is the one that made the code can uh, can write uh, I want to call it not in a lab but uh, in elevation. Uh, okay. It's not a, 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 a yeah, okay. This is uh, only a, a input, but in another in another case it could be a a function, function. Yeah. A function. It's not a, a name uh, defined by by the, the, the no. The, the things that you define is this. The things that you define is. Uh, the, the, the string on the left. Mm -hmm. So here you you can have uh, uh, you can put reader uh, uh, my dm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it, it doesn't give an error okay. because what you are doing is that is uh, to declare this object here, yeah. and and you are telling I want to call all this. Yeah. I want to call like this. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, so then you can use whatever name you want here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. If I want to produce uh, more outputs than one, for example, it's, uh, changing the format of the, the file to D, for example. You can you can uh, just modify your uh, uh, the extension. Uh, yeah. Okay. For example, if you want a tip and not a hash file, you can put dot if and it will be fine. Okay. If you put dot csv mm -hmm. try, it will tell you csv is not a record. Uh, okay. Sure. Okay. Because you, can, you cannot uh, copy the line uh, of the components. No. Uh, for doing what? Yeah, for uh, to have uh, both uh, the, the file. Uh, because we try to copy another time the exit the, the output line. So uh, again to have also to the uh, ashi file also a, a tiff file but you can do you can cannot do it twice because you are calling it with the same name okay. if you call it writer pit and then a new one you call it writer pit two uh, and then you have also yeah, you, have to you have also to put here writer pit two with yes. okay, uh, you have to double up the yeah okay but I don't think this is a... Uh, so it, it can be done, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but if uh, I have to do it, I will just modify the input stream. Any other question? Okay. Good. Uh, ah, to, to look at the source code. To look at the source code. Uh, I will do it on my computer and then you, I tell you where to download the phone. Uh, so you download the all the world uh, source code folder which is big and uh, it contains many things. Uh, and it will be, where will be? You have to know where it is, so it will be in auto machine, target, main, job, auto machine, module, uh, filler, and here you find the, the source code, which is a Java class. Okay. So in the Java class, you find uh, exactly the same annotation that we, we show you yesterday. Uh, Besides these ones that are just a description, a label, and the name of the of the of the 
program that you are writing. The important things are these. We have an input, which is in a lab, which is actually the same input here, which is actually the same input uh, that we used in the, the input name that we use in our sync file. Okay. And then we have an output, which is the one that we pass to the writer today. Okay. And here there is the uh, all the loop, the while loops and all the source code for filling in. If you want to look at the world source code, you just type on your Google uh, the Orton machine and uh, you find the project and you go here and you download the same folder I have on my laptop. You, you don't have to do this. It was just to let you know where you can find the source code. Okay. Cool. So now, when we speak about DM in our computation, we always use the bit filler. Why? Because if we run our next command with uh, the original DM, the original DM may have the, field, the bit that will cause prog problems to the computation of the derivative and so on. Whereas, when we speak about DM, now we will always use bit filler. Okay and not the original DM. The second things we do is uh, uh, the flow directions. Uh, the, the name already explained itself what uh, it is and uh, it computes the flow direction. So uh, do you know any method, the, most, the simplest method to compute the flow directions? RTS. RTS is the tools to, to do that. Okay. But uh, usually you have a raster map and you have uh, a closer cell. So if I want to know, uh, if I am in this sense and I want to know uh, where I go, uh, because I have the elevation of this, that, which is provided in the uh, Because I have the elevation, I compute the differences between the elevation and the water flows where uh, the, the differences is maximum. No. So we are selecting the steepest position. Uh, so right here. Okay, this is how uh, the how it works here, for example, and. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, the output, uh, so the flow direction uh, takes uh, an input, and what is the input in your opinion? Uh, digital elevation. Okay, but not that one, but pit pit the correct one, pit field. Yeah. Perfect. And then provide an output. Uh, in your, uh, the, this output is still a raster map, but this raster map is particular because uh, uh, you know, we have to say in which direction we want to go. So we can go uh, just south, or we can go north, or we can go east, or we can go uh, west, uh, or uh, in uh, along the diagonal. Okay. So uh, the raster map contains numbers. So each of these direction is uh, codified. So, for example, if your output of the flow directions contains the number one. So it means that the direction, uh, if you look here, if it contains the number one, it means that we are going in this direction. Number two in the direction, number three north, and so on, okay. 
this, why this? Because it's a convention. If you want to change the convention, you can do it on your own because all the other, uh, the following uh, uh, routines, uh, component that we run are based on this convention, okay? So when we go and look at our uh, output map of the flow direction, we will find a map which contains value from one to eight. If it contains the number one, it means that the flow direction for the pixel goes in uh, this direction. If it contains number seven, it goes south. Is it clear? Cool. Okay. So probably it's clear also the uh, <coughs> this info. We have three components. One, we have three components. The first one and the third one are the same of before because we want to read the raster map and we want to write a raster map. The one in the middle is not the same. It's not the same because before we were using the filler and now we are using flow direction. Okay. Yes. The parameters are the same. We want to know where to write and where to read the map and where to write our output map. Uh, the, the, the read is the bit filler, the map that we, are, we have already computed. And also here the path is changing because it is not anymore in data but it is in output because it is an output of the bit filler comment. Clear? Yeah. Uh, the writer received the path to where we want to write the, the output file and we want to write this in the output folder and the name of the map are you able to read what is the name of the map that we will create? From direction as uh, if you run it, it should be okay. Uh, it's, yes, I didn't explain about this. So, step by step, the program uh, tells. Yes. I have a Okay. Do you all have an error? No. Yeah, because we didn't finish. Yeah. So. Okay, so just wait for this. 